Hi, class three. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Okay, can you please take out your English book? So, today I am going to discuss chapter four, the magic pain grass part B, okay? Part B. So, in previous class, I have taught you the magic paint brush part A. So, today, now I am going to teach the magic paint brush part B. So, so everyone, please listen the story nicely. Okay? See here. So, in previous class, we have heard that the people of China were very happy. Okay? Because the picture which Lee drew, it came to real. Okay? So, there was in, a, in the country of China where Lee lived, what happened? A greedy rich landlord lives there in China. What was his name? His name was Hugh. Okay? The greedy and rich landlord called Hugh also live in China. And he heard about Lee what he is doing with his magic pen brush. So Hugh was jealous of him, of Lee, and he wanted to capture Lee. And he so one day what happened? A greedy landlord named Hugh sent his people who is working under him to capture Lee. Okay? So, the people of Hugh captured Lee and brought in front of Hugh. Okay? And Hugh snatched what? Magic paint brush from Lee and Lee was kept in where in a locked room where he cannot come out so he was locked inside the room and when Hugh got that magic paint brush he thought that he will become the richest man okay he will become the richest man in China and what he did? He started drawing what? He started drawing big pot of gold. Big pot of what? Gold. Because he wanted to sell that gold and he wanted to earn lots of money and he wanted to become the richest man in China. But his drawing did not come to real. Again, he drew so many things, okay? But it did not come to life. It, it stayed as if it, it was only a drawing. Okay? So, Lee thought of a plan. Hugh thought of a plan. Okay? And he ordered, he took out Lee from the locked room and he, he ordered Lee to draw what a mountain of gold mountain you know you have seen mountain so he ordered Lee to draw a mountain of gold because he knew that if he draw gold he can it will come to real it will come to life and he can sell that gold of mountain and he could earn lots of money okay so poor Liu was not willing to draw a mountain of gold but he was forced by Liu to draw a mountain of gold so he Li drew a mountain of gold so Again, he drew what? Suppose mountain of 
माउंटेन ऑफ गोल्ड दिस इज सपोज दिस माउंटेन ओके एंड व्हाट ही ड्रू ली आल्सो ड्रू व्हाट वाटर रिवर ओके ओशन फ्रॉम ऑल साइड सो बाय लुकिंग दैट व्हेन इट केम रियल ही गॉट एंग्री ओवर ली एंड व्हाट ही सेड व्हाई यू ड्रू वाटर ऑन ऑल साइड ऑफ a mountain gold so he forced again what lee to draw a board board okay so that he could climb here and go to cross the cross the river and go to a mountain of gold okay so As soon as the boat came real or live, what happened? You got into the boat and he started sailing to the mountain of gold. So while he was sailing to the mountain of gold, what happened? You suddenly drew again what? a huge wave storm okay while he was he was in the middle of river huge lee suddenly quickly drew a what thunderstorm thunderstorm okay very strong wind and what happened this boat could not go here and there and it flew it flew away to unknown places somewhere okay so he was in in this boat and he because of storm he was taken away by the storm and went somewhere where nobody can find him and nobody can see him so on that day from on that day onward there was no hue okay because he was he wanted to capture everything and he wanted to become the richest man in the world so everyone have you understood the story so at the end lee returned to his grandparents and he stayed happily with his grandparents and with the people of china by helping the people of china okay so have you understood the story nicely student yeah so i will give some more questions okay to answer please note it down the questions in your notebook and write the answer by yourself okay it is all from the story okay question number 1 question number 1 who was you h u h u who was you he was a really rich landlord okay so number b what did he want what did he want number c what did he summon lee what did liu lee he uh, summon lee means what did you ordered lee to draw okay Number D how did Lee send you away how see here in his picture we can see now while he was crossing the river to get to the mountain of gold a huge storm or gale carried him away no okay now last question how did Lee and his grandparents live after how did they live yes i have just told you no okay So children the story is very interesting no okay have you understood the story nicely okay so you answer the question which i have given okay okay class thank you bye